So reopening soon, but a high school student won't be able to return after dogs attacked her. As Channel 2's Tom Regan reports, her injuries were so severe, a helicopter rushed her to the hospital following the attack. Jocelyn Stitchcomb is an avid walker in her Barrow County neighborhood, but her afternoon outing Friday turned to terror. Two pit bulls jumped on her as she strolled down the street. She was coming around the cul-de-sac. The dogs just attacked her. No provocation at all. Sheriff Judd Smith told me the attack was horrific. The pit bulls mauled the child, biting her face, head, and neck. One of the dogs rushed a deputy when he arrived to help. The dog starts coming at him, and he actually discharges his firearm and shoots the, de the, the dog in the head. Dog retreats. Um, thankfully, the other dog retreats after that shot goes off. And paramedics had their hands full attending to the child's massive injuries. The deputy had to drive, drive the uh, ambulance to the, uh, the life flight location. Deputies traced the dogs back to a neighbor's house. Sheriff says they escaped through a rear door that had been left open. They arrested the dog's owner, Alexandria Terragrosa, age 29. She was charged uh, by us for reckless conduct. She was charged with um, two counts of running dogs running at large through animal control, and she was charged with two counts of biting and attacking. The dog's owner got out of jail on bond. I went to see if she would talk to me, but no one answered the door. The sheriff says what happened, a tragic reminder of keeping dogs leashed or appropriately confined. A gruesome attack, um, very tragic for this young lady and her family. And that was Tom Regan reporting the two dogs have been euthanized. The family has set up a PayPal account for anyone wishing to donate to help with medical and other expenses. And you can find that at WSBTV.com.